how are you beautiful people today? How is everybody doing? I wonder if I should switch and hold this phone different when I'm taking video so it's like this. Is that better? Let me know how that is. I got I got that nice tripod my husband got me. I'm going to bring that tomorrow. But um, I did a couple videos to kind of be lightheartedness last night, to kind of be kind of goofy. I asked people to send me these stretchy bracelets. Most of them are under a buck, okay? A lot of people on YouTube have people send them money for coffee, have send them money for beer, all kinds of shit. Have them pens. This is the least expensive thing anybody could send anybody. These are really cheap. I just never got to experience young adulthood like a normal person because I had to take care of my mother. I didn't get to go to parties. I didn't go to get to go to school dances or anything. And I'm not saying I regret anything. I don't regret helping my mother not one bit. But I just couldn't do things like everybody else. And these damn stretchy beaded bracelets, I want a hundred of them. I want 10,000 of them. I love them. And I'd wear all different colors. I just like them or wear, try to wear some of this. Only one person responded back, some lady. I hope, I don't have a P.O. box. I gave her my real address. I really don't give a shit. I hope she sends me a couple. She said she was, so we'll see. I don't know. There's Some of these are like 50 cents or whatever or a buck. Maybe two bucks tops, but nothing crazier amount than that. I just asked for that, something lighthearted that I can know from my viewers and get to save them and collect them. I just thought it was something cute to ask for, you know, because there's something I didn't get to experience in my young adulthood like a normal. I mean, I took care of my mother day and night. My ma used to be so sick, she would crawl on the floor and shit and poop all over her underwear and I had to wash everything. I had to wash her, wash the floors, everything, and take care of my mom. And I used to just cry to bed at night and I used to think there's got to be something in my ma's mind because I would watch it come and take over her body and go. And it was a, she had a chemical imbalance and it was just horrible what she went through. Nobody deserves to suffer like my mother suffered. My mother suffered horribly and she was the best, nicest person anybody could be in this world. And I love my mother, Susan Hadella. I love you with my heart and soul. And if God ever lets me, if I, he ever thinks I'm good enough, you're the person and dad that I want to see when I croak and go on the other side. So, my lipstick's feeling weird. It's bothering me. Looks like it's going to rain in Michigan. But I wanted to come out here and be lighthearted today. I mean, you just, you know, like I always say, we are all in this shit together. And love is so important and compassion. And you guys got to know, I love you all. And I cherish all of you. Even the people that come on here that are mean. Because something's making them mean. Something's making them upset. When they look in the mirror and at, at themselves in life, they're not happy. They're not happy what they see. And I wish I could help them. If they would come on here and talk to me, I would give them all the love and compassion that they ever needed. That they could ever desire and wish for. There's so many people that grew up I know in this world that never got the love from their mother or fathers or brothers or sisters that they deserve. Well, come on here. I'm everybody's Aunt B in a way. Meaning I care about people and I will give you love and compassion and talk to you. I will give you my email address. I might even give you my own phone number, my personal number, if you want to talk, you know. I care about people, and I care about what happens to you guys. I truly do. I truly do. So how is everybody doing today? How are you sons of bitches doing? You know, it's it looks like it's going to rain. It's getting darker and darker in Michigan. I don't know if it's going to blow over us here or going or gonna to go. I don't know. It's, get, it's getting dark. We'll see. 
But I asked for those bracelets out of just, I wanted to tell my viewers, just, it's not something like trying to be bad. It's just lightheartedness. It's, it's, I wanted to explain why they mean a lot to me. I never got to experience stuff like that when I was young. And I would love to experience it now. That's nothing so bad to ask for little stretchy bracelets. I hope not. I hope you can find it in your heart. I don't know. I see it in the sky over there. Is that a big piece of paper going or is that a blimp? I don't know what it is. Who knows? But I love you all. I'm going to come back in a little while with something really good to say. So come back. This is just a little intro. Lisa sharing life stories with you. You sons of bitches. You better like and subscribe. And come back. Bye. I love you all. Bye.